Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all quite coffee for the session, and, and, and it's looking like a great session with, with great set of panelists. In my brief remarks today, um, I'll talk about two things. Innovation systems in, in BRICS countries and, and persistent mm -hmm. and growing inequality in BRICS. Why I have chosen these two? One is, one is part of the solution. BRICS inability to innovate is part of the solution. And BRICS inability to address growing inequality is part of the problem that has implications for a whole set of responses, including um, in climate change adaptation and, and other areas. But first, um, a few introductory remarks. As we all know that the world is experiencing significant transformations in its geopolitical and economic uh, constitution. Uh, a significant, si significant part of the growth potential of world economy nowadays li lies in emerging economies and in BRICS. Um, the BRICS have uh, shown potential for dynamic change and are playing um, a major role in alleviating the global financial crisis and possibly or providing an altern alternate par paradigm on a number of fronts. But we'll come back to that. Um, BRICS also have a, a developed their internal, international development assistance program, uh, coinciding with its increasing uh, geopolitical and, and, and economic clout. But BRICS, however, are facing a number of common and, and unique problems. And, 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 and that include uh, food insecurity, uh, climate change adaptation issues, lack of universal health care or social protection for the vul most vulnerable, um, violence against women, against women, to name a few. But let's concentrate on, 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 on the topic of my remarks, um, um, inequality and innovation systems. There is enormous and persistent regional and dis uh, regional um, <coughs> distribution of income disparities in BRICS. Inequality, as we know, is, is a multi-dimensional phenomenon and it goes much beyond mere income dimension and includes assets, um, access to basic services, infrastructure, knowledge, gender, ethnic, and geographic dimensions. BRICS countries are also passing through a period characterized by a sharp increase there in, in their research and development activities. Um, our data from UNESCO shows that between 2000 and 2008, um, R&D expenditure in BRICS countries increased tremendously over 70.6% over during, during that less than a decade time. Now we in IDRC supported a study uh, of innovation systems to understand the dynamics uh, uh, which connects the knowledge base with innovation and economic performance in, each, in, in the BRICS countries. And the study looked at a much more broader framework of innovation that includes um, institutions, science technology policies, macroeconomic policies, financial systems, um, labor market dynamics, education, training, and so forth. And, 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 and um, and, and as expectedly, two, two major findings from that study. The present condition of the national innovation systems of BRICS countries is strongly influenced by their diverse historical evolution, colonization, apartheid, and, and, and so forth. All the countries have, uh, have implemented strategies to enhance their domestic capacity for innovation. Uh, these strategies, however, uh, have been implemented very differently as one would expect, uh, the diverse context of BRICS countries. The investigators of the study also looked at inequality within BRICS uh, from, an, from an evolutionary perspective and co-evolution of inequality and the innovation systems. So you would expect that we, with, with increased innovation, investments in innovation, in, in, you know, in economic growth, that would, that would somehow have some influence on inequality. However, uh, that we all know now is, is, is it doesn't happen by default. So um, the study suggested that distinct, distinct strategies for technic technological change as part of innovation strategies in countries may lead to different outcomes in distributing terms and may actually 
aggravate or mitigate inequality. Um, and the findings of the study showed that benefits of innovation rarely address the needs of the poor because most science and technology innovation systems and policies are aimed at achieving economic growth and competitiveness and not at reducing poverty or inequalities. The coexistence of economic growth, substantial investment in science technology innovation and increasing or persistent uh, inequality and a percentage of population living in poverty remains a major challenge for, for all, all BRICS countries. Somewhat good news is that the BRICS governments are, quite, are increasingly concerned about this and, and such continues for more inclusive or harmonious, as the Chinese call it, pathways to uh, achieve improve, improved conditions for, the, for, for their people within the constraints of eco ecological sust sustainability. Um, so attempts are also being made to harness local and grassroots root level innovation, um, documenting it in a systematic manner, validating it, and to help commercializers diffuse the intervention. The failure of high technology, high growth, export oriented policies to reduce poverty, civil society and social unrest uh, have all forced governments to look at, look at the alternative model and, 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 and this big picture. And finally, my last comment is a number of scholars have observed that BRICS countries appear too heterogeneous and currently have little interest in, in, in collective, collective frameworks to actually pose an alternative to the, to the existing paradigm. Although they may very well provide some new insights to improve the understanding of sustainable development. Uh, I tend to be more op optimistic uh, on the optimistic side on this issue. Uh, in the complex world uh, that we live in today, uh, charting a path, new path will, uh, will require uh, major course connection and, and our ability to handle uh, system sh issues, multiple problems at the same time rather than thinking and sol sol uh, pro uh, solving problems in silos will determine, determine our future. Uh, I do believe that enlightened self-interest will prevail in the end to move BRICS and other emerging economies uh, in the right, right direction and this will potentially have significant, significant influence on, on, the, on the global uh, sustainable development agenda. So thank you very much.